Access points and stations alike use management frames for various reasons. Stations use them to locate the service set they wish to join. Stations using passive scanning can do that simply by listening for the beacon frames from the access points. Inside the beacon frame should be the SSID of the network the client station wishes to join. Stations that do not use passive scanning use what's called active scanning, and this is accomplished by the client device sending out a probe request looking for any access point that hears this signal that's using the SSID and the probe request. Every AP that hears that request and is using that SSID will respond. However, some stations can send out a null probe request, which means they're sending out a probe request with no SSID in it. Many access points will still have to respond to that request as well. The process of sending a probe request and waiting for a probe response, whether it's a probe with the SSID or a null probe without the SSID, takes up a lot of airtime. And that airtime could be used for data frames. Also, there can be stations at distance that are configured to use active scanning or the probes, but the stations are so far away from the access point or they're obstructed between the AP and the, the station, and their signal will be detected with a very low RSSI value by the access point. Normally, the access point would respond to this using the lower data rates that it has to use to talk to that station that's even though the station does connect, it's still going to slow the network down every time it wins the contention for the medium and uses lower data rates. To prevent this from happening with active scanning, you can enable airtime decongestion. Airtime decongestion will enable the access point to disregard probe requests from stations detected with a very low RSSI value. It will also enable the AP to ignore null probe requests. It will also allow the access point to reduce the number of retries when it sends a probe response and does not get an immediate authentication request from the client device. Freeing up airtime by keeping stations at distance from connecting and reducing the overhead introduced by probe requests and probe responses will greatly increase the airtime available for data frames, allowing client devices that are closer to connect and select higher data rates from their MCS tables. That will again add more airtime because they're not using the air for as long to transmit. So where should you turn on airtime decongestion? Airtime decongestion is best enabled in high density environments where those clients that we just discussed may exist.